Welcome back to another video. It's Friday and you know what that means. It's time for Top Fuel Teachers. Thanks to Scotty there for today's intro. Scotty is the owner of DC UK Events, which hosts car meets and shows. So, thank you Scotty. You're very welcome. Uh, it's been a great week working on the WRC and it's been really interesting to see what the tutors get up to when the students aren't here. There's a lot of hard work that goes into this academy that is unseen and it's not just shown when the students are here. So yes, Scotty has been here all week with us wrapping a WRC car. Let's take a little look. So here is Scotty working his magic on the last few bits. We'll have a look around the car in a minute. Not as easy as it looks on TikTok, that's for sure. That is very true. I make it look easy, but Scotty's put a lot of time and effort into this. And he's proud of it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gone really well. It's had its challenges. Um, it's, the wings especially were quite difficult, but it's come out really well in the end. And it's, it's starting to really take shape of what it will look like in its final form, which is really exciting stuff. And at least we didn't get him to do the bumpers. No, no. Thank, thankfully, no bumpers this time. However, I'm sure Abe will have me do one in the future. So we'll have a look around the car in a minute, once Scotty's got that bit done. So that was a little clip of Scotty doing some of the almost last bits on the, the car, on the wrap. As you can see behind us here, that is our inspiration board of stuff we were using for inspiration and uh, our pictures. So now, we're going to turn around and see the car. Now look at that. Hey Scotty just giving it some of the last little bits. It's 95 to 98% done maybe. We got some other little bits but just look at this car now. Now I'm going to put um, some pictures at some point in this video of how it was when we picked it up. how it was when we took the wrap off and then how it is now you, it is just such a transformation and the new wheels as well obviously the new wheels thank you Team Dynamics and Matt Neal um, for sorting us out with these wheels they are amazing on this car and also thank you to Emma from Stapletons for sorting us out with the Maxxis tyres. Now, we might have something going, well we will have something going with Maxxis, but we will um, we'll tell you all about this in a future video. Uh, just some final details to sort out. But Maxxis very kindly gave us a set of four tyres for this car. Because we didn't want to put second hand tyres on the new wheels and we needed new tyres. And Maxxis stepped up and said, have these so that's absolutely amazing of them so we're gonna we're gonna do some more livery on this car obviously it's not finished we're gonna have some extra bits on it because it's gonna look like a rally replica um but yeah just look at it at the moment honestly it's it's speechless you know it's, it's great so We've got some extra bits, like I said, left to do. Um, we've got them here. Scotty has wrapped, impressively enough as well, Scotty has wrapped the bonnet vent. Uh, didn't think he'd be able to do that. And he's gonna wrap the roof scoop, the front grille, and the ST rear spoiler. We're gonna get them all wrapped as well. That is um, a job that we're doing, I was gonna say tomorrow, so, but they'll be going on. The last thing Scotty needs to do on the car is post heat it, which is he's got to heat all the wrap up again 
in sections and that way it holds its memory this is what he tells me that way it holds its memory and should last better and last longer so once that's done we can then start putting like the aero catches back in door handles on um and the other bits number plates on the back because seriously this car is just absolutely looking amazing now if you remember what this car looked like when we got it six months ago it's mental blue tailgate but the wheels and the tires on it as well really really set this off we've got to get the front and rear bumpers to brian for painting and the mirrors as well because the mirror covers were still red we don't obviously gonna have no red on it so we're gonna get the covers done white front bumper white rear bumper blue to match the back half then obviously like i said we're gonna have our livery on it i think we're gonna have a big maxis down there then we're gonna have a number board there with the number one on it because this was the first rally sport project car so we're gonna have number one on the number board similar design to project d's let's say big maxis there uh, we're gonna have a couple of ford badges on the boot we're gonna have same as d which is just over there look we're gonna have rally sport engineering academy along both sides of the roof on the front we're gonna have a Ford badge like that and then motorsport underneath it in blue obviously it's all gonna be blue and white so yeah it's really coming along and come on it's just uh, blown away by it Scotty has done so well he really has come back here Scotty he's disappeared so here he is Hello, it's just standing back admiring how incredible this has turned out. I can't wait to see um, the students' faces and see what they do putting this all back together and then we'll get this out of Octane on full display. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do. You know, the only way is up from here, so thank you so much. So this as well is Scotty's first solo car wrap job. And I think you can agree he's done an amazing job. So he will be doing more um, keep your eyes out for his work like i say scotty is also also very kindly said he'll do the rest of the graphics for us so obviously we can cut our own but scotty wants to be able to say he's done the whole look of this car from start to finish so scotty's going to do the rest of the graphics we'll sit down with him we'll plan it all out um and then we'll get them on but this car is just looking unreal now um it really is still lots more work to do um, unfortunately we had a little bit of a boo-boo well we didn't have a boo-boo um, with the engine we as you know we had the engine out um, and we had to take the gearbox off because one of the bolt holes had a plate that was covering half the bolt hole up so we slipped the gearbox off while the engine was out and unfortunately we found that the old flywheel was absolutely shot dual mass flywheel they're they're not great things to be fair it had a lot of play in it so we've just had to get another flywheel as you can see the new one has arrived and we've got another clutch on order for it as well so that was a little bit more of a uh, an expense that we didn't plan on but it still won't hold us back we're still planning on getting forward with this so once the new clutch arrives we'll bang that on we'll line it up gearbox back in then we'll get all the bolts back in on there that'll be done then we can put this engine back in that car uh, and then we've got the next big expense will be the windows obviously we've got to get a new windscreen and although we've got the polycarbonate windows for it they're very old they're probably about knocking on 13 to 15 years old and they've gone quite scratched and opaque so 
We're going to get on to ACW. They offered us a little bit of a deal, and we're going to get a full set of polycarbonates for it. Then, obviously, Brian, uh, when he's finished with our spoiler, our wing, we'll get the wing on. That will be stuck and screwed on to the tailgate. And then we'll be the, it'll be looking even better with the WRC wing on it. Um, over here, we've got, like I said, our front and rear bumpers. Uh, the back bumper had a bit of damage on it there. So we need to get Brian to repair that. He knows about that. And then he's going to paint the back one blue to match the wrap and the front one white to match the wrap so we've just got to get these little brackets out of there first uh, we're going to keep the inlays black and the grills on it black but that'll be it so we are still still on track for the octane show with this car obviously we were going to keep it a secret we were going to reveal it then but we are too excited to keep it a secret till then um so yeah it's just it's just honestly it's, it's mind-blowing so we're going to wrap the video up here now let's go to the outro so that's it for today's video thank you for watching it's goodbye from scotty see you soon goodbye from chris see ya and goodbye from me Stay tuned to see another video next week. Mm -hmm.